This is a 2002 Honda Passport and it has a problem with transmission fluid leaking out of the overdrive accumulator cover and I'm going to need to replace that. This vehicle has 128,000 miles on it. This vehicle should be sitting on a level surface and the parking brake set if it's functional or at least the wheels blocked on it. The cover is just behind the passenger front wheel over on the transmission. That circle. See the transmission fluid leaking out of it and it's shooting over on the front drive shaft. I'm making it all oily underneath here. And then blowing back on the transfer case skid plate and on back to the rest of the vehicle. And this is a new piece here. Got online, the dealership can't get it anymore. It's a bonded metal piece, it's rubber coated, it inserts into it. I'm going to be taking a bushing and threading it inside of this to pull that out of the transmission. like a three-quarter half-inch bushing first thing I need to do is tap that one back just a little bit so I can get the pressure off the snap ring and release the snap ring and get that line bracket out of the way. I'll spray some penetrating oil on that transmission line fitting and take it loose. There's a clamp up on the bell housing. Or like a uh, double line clamp. Dislodge it maybe. Set a green pan underneath the corner of the transmission because the fluid's going to be leaking out of stuff here and there. The transmission line flare nut is a 17 millimeter. Use a 21 millimeter backup to keep that adapter from turning inside the transmission. It's got pretty hard there as it backed off. I'm gonna have to look to see what the problem is. I've got this transmission line flare nut loose. I'm going around to the transmission bell housing and releasing the 12 millimeter it's holding the transmission line clamp in place take it loose pull it out it gives some give on that transmission line so I get that cover up from underneath of it then dislodge the plug off the clip just a fraction of an inch with a punch and a hammer got the snap ring out it takes a pair of snap ring pliers uh, best best angle is about 45 degrees to get it out now I'm just thread a bushing in there and pull that out
once it starts moving, it's got a spring under it that'll help push it out. Now I'll take some real fine sandpaper and sandpaper the housing around the opening and clean it up. Took some 320 grit and just cleaned up to the snap ring and took some brake cleaner and cleaned the debris off. I'm going to put a spring back in and coat the new accumulator cover with transmission fluid and push it back in. Keep lint, dirt, and debris out of this hole. Just took a big bolt like a crank bolt in the center of that and then a pry bar against exhaust and pushed it down below the snap ring seat. Now I just got to put the snap ring back on. It'll stay down, at least this one is. Let's get your clip seated. Go ahead and put the transmission line back in and the hanger support bracket up there on the bell housing with a 12 millimeter bolt. It'll be time to check the fluid level on it. Dry off any excess transmission fluid with, with some brake cleaner. Check the fluid level through this screw here. Add some to it through there. I'm going to be setting the fluid level on this 2002 Honda Passport. And I'm going to use the, the Valvoline's Max Life as the equivalent. Uh, you can use the Honda Z1 fluid or whatever. But it's Dexron 3 was what was in it. It's a GM transmission in there. On the transmission pan, there's two plugs. The lowest one's to drain the transmission pan, and the upper one's to set the level with. This upper one shouldn't be taken loose without the vehicle running. Or excess fluid will run out and I've got a drain pan underneath of it we want to start off with the fluid temperature below 90 degrees start this vehicle up shift it through all the gears and let it sit and idle for three minutes then pull this plug and if any excess fluid runs out let it till it slows down to a drip and if no fluid runs out add fluid to it till it does run out the fluid temperature can exceed 135 degrees that'll be the minimum fill level at 135 and the max would be 90 degrees it running out because the fluid expands it gets hot and displaces area the higher the temperature and once it reaches 135 degrees too much fluid will be missing for it to be a right level so hopefully we can get that done before it gets too hot an adapter will be needed to thread into that plug hole with a hose hooked to it and then hook to a bottle of transmission fluid to force into it if it's low. This plug is some kind of metric thread. It almost fits into a half inch coupling. 
So I'm going to use this brass nipple with a half inch threads on it. And just fill the threads in with Teflon tape. And screw that into the pan and hook this 3 8 hose to it. And I've transferred some of that Max Life fluid into a quart bottle with a nipple on it from a 90 weight container and put the hose on that squeeze the fluid into the pan I went ahead and took the plug out of it without it running so there's no fluid running out of it so I'm assuming it's pretty low from the accumulator cover leaking So I'm going to hook this up. I'm going to go ahead and put a half quart of fluid in it before I even start it up. Went ahead and put three quarters of the quart in there. Still none's run back out, so I'm going to stick with that for now and start it up and get the temperature warm on it and see if any fluid's going to come out. Started it up. I'm going to go run the gears about three seconds in each gear. I'll wait for three minutes. It's been three minutes and I don't see any fluid back filling in in the bottle. The pan temperature is at 90 degrees. I'm going to add some more fluid to it. Half poured at a time. back now. So it was probably quart low anyway. Now I need to unscrew that while it's running. And through that fitting, this plug should have a new copper washer put on it to avoid leaks. I screw this plug back in and tighten it down. And it should be full. That's what you should see coming back out of it. When it's full, that's at 96 degrees. I'm 
move back the fitting off just in case it's sticking up out of, out of the pan inside too high. Uh, put the new sealing copper washer on the plug and thread it back in there when it's down to that. It did good. I went ahead and let the temperature of the transmission pan get up to 105 degrees before I capped it off. So it's ready to ready to roll.